impossible is like the circuit breaker switch in your own mind. So I'm no electrician, but you know how in, the, in your house there's a electricity panel and if there's a blast of electricity or something goes haywire, there's these breaker switches that flip, that turn off electricity to that section of the house or those wires so everything doesn't burn and explode. That's my limited understanding of it. We have the same kind of breaker switch in our own minds that's called impossible. Just imagine a little breaker switch inside a little panel in your brain. It's, it's really in there. It's a structural thing, legit. And, and it flips and, and goes to impossible. So we want something and then we say, it's impossible. Uh, maybe you try and then it doesn't work. You know, what, what's, what's that impossible thing? Maybe it's for you, it's being in an incredible relationship, being able to date freely and find someone you really connect with. Maybe it's being fully authentic. Maybe it's bold. Maybe it's being able to be expressive with a certain family member or find your way out of a challenging dynamic at work or be more bold and speak up with a colleague or an employee. Whatever the impossible thing is for you. For me, a lot of the impossible stuff has been a lot of social stuff and also a lot of physical stuff. And so we try and then we are not able to do it and we say it's impossible the switch just flips and then once the switch flips what happens i'm not going to try anymore well, why, why don't you try to put yourself out there for relationships it's just not possible not possible for me why don't you be more bold in that situation it's not possible for me you don't know who i am okay and we build a whole identity around it. I'm an introvert. I'm, I got social anxiety disorder. I got, that's not possible for me. And I have diagnoses and reasons and explanations to prove it. The same thing goes true for my physical life. Hiking around that mountain is not possible for me. Being able to run is not possible for me. Being able to use my body and get stronger is not possible for me. Because I got diagnoses to tell you. I got a whole identity around it. Same thing, right? But here's the fascinating part. Here's the liberating part that I'm so excited to share with you. That's not real. That circuit breaker switch, that little label that says impossible, it's not true. What if instead of it being impossible, what if it means you need to learn something? What if it means you need to change something? What if it means you need to do something different? A little case in point from the physical side of things. So I've done a whole history of, uh, of challenging and, and, and upgrading my psychology around my health. I'm not gonna share that whole story with you now, but not that long ago, I was experiencing more knee pain the issues that were limiting me. And I just done a ton of stuff this summer. I hiked around that mountain. I've been running and doing all kinds of things and getting more and more knee pain. And the story goes, ah, oh, you get more active, you're going to get pain disease. Why? Because your body's broken. Remember all those diagnoses? Remember all those problems? And I said, ah, shit, you're right. I guess doing what I want to do and being as free as I want, as abundant in my health as I want is impossible. Fortunately... Fortunately, when that impossible breaker switch goes off, there's another part of me that's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened there? Let's discover something. What if the pain you're experiencing, physical pain, emotional pain, what if it's just a signal? It's a message. It's information that's saying, hey, you need to change something. What do you need to change? I don't know. You got to figure it out. But you got to learn something. Usually the things you got to change, it's probably you. <laughs> Other people, too. They, they all suck. But, you know, you and your habits and your thought patterns, and your focus, and the way you treat yourself. That one's huge. That's why I talk about that in my book, Almost. If you haven't read that, check that out on my own site. But I realized that I've been really active in the last three years as I broke through all these health challenges, and I've been doing stuff like crazy, and I spent 98% of my time, my active time being active, and 2% of my time on mobility, stretching, identifying weak muscles, places where I'm stiff and, and, and like resolving those, doing mobility work, strengthening exercises, um, little therapies and things that, you know, do this to strengthen this muscle. You know those videos you can find on YouTube or find someone to teach you that stuff? I was like, Ugh, I don't want to do that shit. I just want to get out there and run. Okay. All right. How long? How long are you going to do that before it catches up to you? Well, it caught up to me. And I was like, okay, I get it. I get the message. And so I started dedicating... 30 minutes a day to mobility work. I found some videos online, invested in a course. Um, I'm actually doing some, some uh, work with this place called Stretch Lab. You can check it out if it's in your city. It's been fantastic for me, where I just, they, they, they help you do more stretching in your body, identify places where you're fucked up <laughs> and, and address it. And I've been doing that. And within four days, I've been doing that for four days, 
and I'm out here hiking. It's been about six miles, a bunch of uphill. I feel fine. Four days. Do you know how long I would have been in that pain and that limitation and that impossible story five years ago, 10 years ago? Months, four months, four years, 20 years. Insane, isn't it? So what is the thing that you're telling yourself is impossible right now? And what if it's a little tweak? What if you need to learn something? Who do you need to learn it from? I don't know. Find the person. Look around. Maybe it's in my materials. Maybe it's in someone else's thing. Talk to people. Read things. Put your mind out there. And the other thing I'm going to guess is it involves action. It involves changing something, finding a habit, trying something new. And you're going to discover that when you learn those little tweaks, everything opens up. The same is true for intimate relationships. I can tell you more about that. If you're not registered for my upcoming uh, live online event, check that out. It's called Unlimited Dating and Relationship Confidence. But little tweaks, you know, you have, oh, it's impossible for me to be in a relationship because I'm so messed up. I got this long history of problems. My family wasn't good enough. I'm broken. I can't be intimate. Little tweaks. Let's, let's stop flicking that impossible breaker switch. Get the real message. Learn. Grow and experience just absolute joy. Thanks for being with me. Until we speak again, we have the courage to be who you are and to know on a deep level that you're awesome.